Hey guys, just Amy here doing a quick soap making. Um, I'm gonna actually uh, use my goat's milk soap based today. And there's a new block because I just actually finished my last block because I made all of our other soaps. So I've made uh, some both clear and goat's milk soap base. This one is uh, the citrus one, so it has lemon and uh, grapefruit. And I've also made uh, just some peppermint one with a little bit of lemon um, in bed inside of it. And the ones that I'm making now, I'm actually going to be making the lavender and goat's milk uh, with the oats inside as well. Uh, and then some, um, sorry, some coconut oil, that's the word. And I've been having a little off day, so excuse the, the mind blowing, forgetting of words. So um, yeah, so we're going to add some honey and some coconut oil to that because I only have one bar left because um, I've had people taking a few of them. So um, right now, I actually already did this beforehand. There is the um, baby powder one with the goat's milk. Sorry if I covered up the, the voice there. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get this going and pop it in the microwave, uh, get them cut up. And I always have my, my gloves on even though I'm not working with lye, but I don't want the oils off of my hand to um, get into the soap, obviously. And my kids, mainly the boys, <clears throat> my oldest, likes to watch <laughs> the different things that I make actually. So, sorry, I just noticed that sometimes there's a glare when my... When I'm not blocking the kitchen door, so yeah, we're going to use about half of the block. I have some more actually on the way, and if I needed to make anything else, I can always use the um, clear glycerin soap base. So yeah, I'll pop that back in the container. All these little bits and add them into the pot for the microwave. <clears throat> so, comment below. How long have you guys been either making soap or um, what is your preference? Soap-based uh, melt and pour or do you go from scratch? Right now, I can't go from scratch because of my younger kids here so just to being safe and because of the fact that I have to do it in my kitchen um, I just I'm not comfortable with doing chemicals just yet so, um, so yeah just cutting these down as small as possible because they'll melt better Um, yeah, so what do you prefer? Comment below. What do you prefer? Um, how you're making your soap? Or even if you're starting to look into making soap, um, what kinds of soap will you be kind of, I guess, interested or targeting towards? For me, because I have a little girl's kids website that I do um, teething rings and chains and I do hair bows and cloth nappies, so I wanted to add soap, homemade soap, handmade, sorry, um, well, homemade too, I guess. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that and add that to my business. And yeah, so I'm mostly just going to do calming lavender or um, baby powder scents for like your your infants and toddlers this is great for the skin as well with the oils that are in it um, so that is great and I use except for the baby powder one I use essential oils now 
because of my four-year-old, um, and I guess my teenager as well, um, I'm going to be getting some other fragrance scents and testing them out as well, just to make more fun kids soap. So yeah. So I am going to be right back after I pop this in the microwave and get it all melt down, and we'll see how it goes with the, the mixing up. Thanks. All right, so we're back and I have my melting pour all set. I'm going to actually add my coconut oil and have that all set in. I'm gonna actually, I like using that, but I like using my spatula because then I feel like it's mixing a lot better instead of using my stick blender. So, doing that, get rid of the bubbles, and I have my lavender essential oil there, because we're doing lavender, honey, and oat. So I'm going to do my honey, it smells so good afterwards, and a little bit of oats to mix in with it and then I always top them off with the oats on top of the bars so these will be throughout for exfoliating and soothing and whatnot for the baby and now it's becoming a nice creamy color because of the honey and I'm done with that. I'm just gonna put in my lavender. And the lavender gives off a much stronger scent because of the essential oils. Um, rather than some of the fragrances, it takes a little more, so I may have actually added one drop too much. Um just gonna mix that all around, make sure it's all done. Um, Spritz my, my mold. And get ready to pour. I'm actually gonna move this out so I can so you can see it on the video. Let's see how many I think it'll be four. Last drop. I don't want to waste any soap. Whisk in there. And scrape it along so it'll meet to the next one. So I don't want to waste any. I'm going to get that washed up, give it a little spritz, get rid of the bubbles, and top them. Just put a little bit in my hand and I'm just adding it to all of them. So, because I'm all done with that, I'm going to actually take off my gloves now. These ones are done. So I don't want to stick other oils inside for that. Um, just one second there, bear with me. I'm going to be rinsing that out. And that. And I'm going to try and slide it back carefully. So it's away from the edge there for when my kids come out to the kitchen. So that 
is our lavender one. Lavender goat's milk. And this is our baby powder one that I did before the video. So it's actually, it's still warm, but it's peeling away. So that's good. Peeling from the side. So I'll be able to take those out in a couple hours. And we'll let these sit. And I'll post a picture in the comments more. About that. This is, um, sorry about the hair, the mom hair. This is actually what it looks like afterwards. And I just put my my information of how much or like what I use in the soap. Um, just in case somebody doesn't like a certain uh, essential oil that I use. Um, so I put the different essential oils that I use, uh, coconut oil, honey for that one. Um, this one has the coconut oil and olive oil for the baby one. Uh, it's a lot softer for the skin and whatnot. So I actually have one of the lavender ones in the kitchen and we have a, my son, or sorry, my daughter has a baby powder one and it's so good. Um, smells so good when uh, she has that for her bath time. Smells like the new baby, even though she's almost a year and a half, which is scary. So, but yeah, that is the end of it. And hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment below. Um, let me know any other ideas uh, that you maybe do or that you might want to do to explore. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.